The clutch forms the link between engine and gearbox. And on the most common clutch, the diaphragm type, there are three main elements. There's a clutch plate, which has friction linings on both its faces. This locates next to the flywheel and, as we'll see in a moment, engages with the gearbox input shaft. The pressure plate contains a strong diaphragm spring, the fingers of which point towards the centre of the plate. When bolted to the flywheel, this spring pushes the clutch plate firmly against the flywheel so that the plate turns with the flywheel. The third element is the release bearing, which locates next to the diaphragm spring in the pressure plate. The job of this release bearing is to push the fingers of the diaphragm spring inwards when the clutch pedal is pressed. This releases pressure on the clutch plate so it doesn't spin with the flywheel. To achieve this, the bearing is moved by a clutch release lever. The link between the engine and gearbox is formed by the input shaft of the gearbox, which engages with the clutch plate. The splines or teeth allow the clutch plate to slide along the shaft but not turn on it. The gearbox locates on the engine by its distinctive bell housing being bolted to the engine. This bell housing encloses the clutch assembly, and once in position, it can be seen how the clutch release lever engages with the release bearing, and also how the input shaft is splined to the clutch plate. When the clutch pedal is pressed, the release lever pushes forward and presses the release bearing against the diaphragm spring. This releases pressure on the clutch plate. Once that pressure is released, the clutch plate disengages from the flywheel and stops turning. In this way, engine power is prevented from breaching the gearbox. What is really happening here is that as the clutch pedal is pressed, the diaphragm spring releases pressure on the clutch plate. The plate is released from the flywheel slides along the splines of the input shaft and stops turning. And as the pedal is released and pressure reapplied, the plate is pushed back against the flywheel. The plate turns, the input shaft turns, and engine power reaches the gearbox.